Take one dark night in November, add one adult, a tin box with a lid, and a torch. Mix in a liberal sprinkling of children of various ages and place a few handfuls of well-chosen fireworks all together in the box. Then take out the fireworks one at a time, close the box, and read the instructions carefully using the torch. Light the firework at arm's length, preferably with a safety lighter, and then stand well back and wait. And wait. And wait. Never be tempted to return to examine a dud. It might not be. Add a little sparkle for good measure, and what have you got? The perfect recipe for a safe and happy Guy Fawkes night. It's called the Firework Code, and it's yours free whenever you buy fireworks. Remember, on the 5th of November, follow the Firework Code. children are cleaning out their class pets. The budgerigars need clean sand in the bottom of their cage. The rabbit needs a clean bed of hay in his cage. So does Pop, the guinea pig. Yeah. This skin looks a bit funny, doesn't it, today? Let me see, his fur's dropping out. Let's take him to the vet, don't you? Every morning and evening, animals are brought to the vet's clinic. Each animal has a card showing what treatment the vet has given on its last visit. Morning. Oh, yes, yes, I've got the card. Would you like to take a seat in the waiting room? They go into the waiting room. They'll wait there until it's their turn to see the vet. isn't he? But most of the animals sit quietly with their owners. When it's your turn to see the vet, you go into a special room. That's the vet. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. There's a high table for the animals to stand on. Hello, Tiny. 
The vet is an animal doctor. He examines the animals to find out what's wrong with them. He's going to give the dog an injection. Right, hold on. Now, this is liable to make you feel off colour just for 24 hours if you tell the owners. All right, I'll do that. There you are, darling. Thank you. Not too bad, eh? There you are. Thank you. Here's another patient arriving. Its owner has brought it to the surgery in a bag. I wonder what it is. Wakey, wakey. Goodness, it's a snake. Look how long its body is. This snake is a python. This one weighs about three stone, there's a... After a bit, you get a rather sore neck. <laughs> I wonder what's wrong with this dog. She's very stiff, isn't she? She's got arthritis. I'll put some tablets up for you. Yeah. And you can get those later on at the desk. The vet has a nurse who helps him with the animals. Linda, could you put me 24 Brufen tablets up for Charlie Girl? Mm -hmm. One twice a day after meals. OK, okay thank, thank you. you. It's the children's turn next. Hello, children. Hello. What's the matter with the budgies? They're on their clothes, Kitty. If we can catch it. holds the bird firmly so that he can clip its claws. It's just like having your nails cut. It's a lot better, isn't it, eh? So bring him back in about a month and we'll just check that they haven't grown too long again, OK? Oh, guinea pig. Now it's Pop's turn. He's scratching the nut on his fur is coming out. Right, let's have a look at him for you. Can you help me? Can you just hold him there? That's it. Yes, he's got a thing called mange. Mange is a skin disease. Let's have a look at his tummy. It makes Pop scratch till his fur falls out. The vet will tell them how to make it better. So I'll get a shampoo for you, and I'll put all the instructions on. You'll have to do it at school. Linda, would you get me a shampoo for the guinea pig? Put it into a gallon of water and bathe the guinea pig in it. Thank you. Collectible. The snake has come to the vet because it's burned its skin. First of all, we'll clean it up, and then I'll give you some cream to put onto it. Hello. <laughs> what about is it? It's marvellous when you can turn around and look at your own body, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the vet shows the owners what to do. You'll have to do this. I'll give you a bottle of stuff to do it. The cream, which is this, you put on three or four times a day if you could. All right. Do you think it, it'll ever grow back as normal? No. 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 It's like if you had a burn, it, it forms a scar. It'll stay the same it'll because the same. scars don't grow, yeah. they just stay the same. But so it, she'll just get bigger and it will look smaller? It'll look small all the time. Right. How's that for you, eh? <laughs> Some animals stay at the vets for a few days to be made well. There's a cat with a broken leg. This one's had a plaster on, so yeah. that's to stay in to have a calcium injection. Right on. And this one hasn't been eating. Has it eaten anything at all? Uh, it ate last night, but didn't seem to want its breakfast this morning. Right. This one's probably be able to go home today if its eyes are a lot better. Let's have a look. This cat had a sore eye. The vets cured it. Oh, it's a lot better now, isn't it? Mm, yes. And opened its eyes again. Right, that can go home now. It's got to have some chloramphenicol tablets and some ointment. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Now, there's this pigeon. Has it been eating? Yes, yes, it has. Good, let's have a look at it. The pigeon's astray. Someone found it. It's putting a lot of weight back on. I don't think it's ready to fly away yet. No. I wonder where it's got to get home to. We'll keep it in a few more days. Some animals can't be brought to the clinic, so the vet visits them at home. Here's a litter of puppies. They're all brothers and sisters. One of them has an upset tummy. Right, 
Just hold on to him. We'll take his temperature. The vet takes its temperature. He puts the thermometer under its tail. Got a slight temperature. Now he's going to give it an injection of medicine. He uses a syringe to give the injection. This won't hurt at all. There you are, that'll make you better. Not all the vet's patients are so easy to treat. Pedicure. Billy the goat is very strong. <laughs> now, Debbie, if you could just hold him here for me. Something like this. <laughs> just hold him like that. Oh, come on, Bill. It's not as bad as all that. Come on. It's hard work trying to clip the goat's hoof. <laughs> If you hold his head like that, it's all very strong. In the end, it takes three people to hold the goat. Oh, please, if you could. If you'd like just to steady him so he doesn't back away from us. And if you put your hand round here, let me show you, Debbie. Hold him to you. And if you just stop him going backwards, and hopefully we'll be able to finish it off. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's better, isn't it? There we go. Back at school, the teacher's doing just what the vet told her to do. I think he knows this a little bit. We haven't got it on his nose, though, because it might go in his eyes. Are you ready with the towel? All right, let's dry him up. It wasn't it good? Mm -hmm. yes. I think he knows it's going to make him better.